universities and uh, especially Oslo University uh, that uh, is very independent on uh, uh, using its uh, resources. But Nepal has been um, a country um, uh, that have been um, benefiting from a regional and so so related cooperation. And um, I hope that can continue in the future. Your Excellency, uh, I will again like to link uh, mm, to the education uh, system uh, or education sector, uh, not system. Norwegian support is not only limited in government sector, rather it has expanded it, uh, s uh, some um, support in private education uh, sector as well in Nepal. The example is recently College of Journalism and Mass Communication has received two PhD program in media, edu media education. Uh, what will be the long term outcome of this kind of support in Nepal? I um, believe that uh, it is important uh, to contribute to uh, strengthening the media sector as such through also uh, private uh, channels. But uh, I would like to also say that this has not been uh, support coming directly from the embassy. It is uh, from the um, uh, Oslo uh, headquarter, but uh, through the uh, universities and uh, especially Oslo University uh, that uh, is very independent on uh, uh, using its uh, resources. But Nepal has been um, a country um, uh, that have been um, benefiting from a regional and so so related cooperation. And um, I hope that can continue in the future, but uh, this is not for uh, the Norwegian Embassy and not from for the uh, government as such to decide. It is a matter also of the University of Oslo, for example, to to decide about its uh, priorities. But uh, it is ultimately Norwegian support. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, but uh, but uh, I can uh, guarantee or I can have some opinion about what is under my delegated authority. But I cannot uh, overrule any Norwegian institution, even if they get uh, uh, funding from the Norwegian government. Yeah. What is the possibilities of expanding this kind of support to Nepal? Do you see there is possibilities to enlarge or to what, uh, expand this kind of uh, support? To support to the media in yeah, this media, context. Media and uh, media education. Um, I do not foresee any possibility of expanding that, but as I said, it is not up to the embassy or the uh, head of uh, the mission here in Nepal to uh, to uh, uh, to to have um, control on this uh, uh, part of education, which um, uh, which is um, uh, managed from uh, Norwegian institutions. I don't think we can expand uh, in that area based on the uh, delegated authority and uh, mandate that we have here. To summarize this all uh, opinion and uh, all your um, expression, what are the major challenges of overall development of Nepal and how can we overcome of this problem or of these challenges? Nepal needs a stable uh, political system, a stable government, because uh, we cannot avoid uh, uh, understanding that uh, the government is the key player in uh, putting things right. And in a democratic system, we need uh, stability also to make uh, uh, the decisions that is linked to uh, transparency and accountability and to do the needful in terms of ensuring that the institutions can work uh, according to their mandates. So uh, strengthening of institutions uh, uh, is extremely important. Public institution, private institution or all institution? I think that uh, it uh, is a matter of strengthening government institutions that are supposed to deliver services 
and, uh, and, uh, and uh, deliver according to their roles defined, uh, but uh, also private sector, the civil society has to be strengthened, has to be depoliticized, uh, and has to um, uh, contribute effectively towards uh, the new Nepal. How can development partners support or join hand in this line? Well, I think it is agencies. very important for the donors to strengthen the government system. 60% of uh, all uh, Norwegian development assistance go through uh, government channels. Then um, uh, the major uh, portion of what is uh, uh, left is uh, through multilateral system, which also links up to the government system. Norway is the largest donor even if we are a very small country, uh, equal to in terms of uh, uh, citizenship, uh, 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 we have uh, only uh, uh, a little bit more than Kathmandu Valley, five million. And uh, we are the largest donor to UNDP. We are the second largest donor to UNICEF. And for example, this year also largest donor to UNFPA. So this is also a matter of strengthening the government system. And we have a very, very small portion to support the private, uh, to, to support NGOs, the civil society. But we have uh, a number of Norwegian international organizations working together with um, Nepali partners, so which we are proud of. Thank you very much for your time and uh, for your uh, this uh, sharing your experience. Thank you very much. Privilege. Asta yeah. Dasagrind, yehi kurakani. Nepal ka lagi Norway ka radut Alf Arne Ramslien sanga gariye ko ek kurakani ka saath aaj ko urpantaran karyakram mein aisa kinsa aur ko apta fir yeh stay bishay bastu magari ne kurakani ka saath tapai hamre bed gatuncha aaj lagida dinos namaste.